The Department of Education is requiring public high school student athletes and anyone involved with sports to be vaccinated against COVID. And officials are delaying fall seasons until late September to give people a chance to comply with the new rule. Jen Boniza has more. No vaccination, no participation. That's the directive passed down from the Department of Education Wednesday. So students will have to show proof they've gotten the shot in order to play sports this year. For the second year in a row, football fields and gyms are empty as the new school year kicks off. Rising case counts led the DOE to delay the fall sports season until September 24th, giving student athletes and adults working in athletics a chance to get vaccinated. In a statement, they said, this decision was not made lightly, but we can't jeopardize the health and safety of students and communities. The alternative is canceling the season, which we don't want to do. So we're implementing this plan, prioritizing vaccinations. Honestly, um, I felt very devastated for my players and their families because they already had to go through this a year ago. The good news is, this time around, it's only a delay. At least now, the, the officials who are all putting this together realize that, that we can't push back or postpone our season for several more weeks and still have a full season. But Carvalho says there are still unanswered questions. And mainland schools are already trying to recruit Hawaii athletes. Do we state, still have an OIA championship to play for? Do we still have a state championship to play for? If they can give us that, we will keep a lot of our student athletes here in Hawaii. The other issue, not everyone wants to get vaccinated. It's going to be a family personal decision that I cannot fault if they decide to go or not play or not coach. So that, that's the hard thing right now that a lot of people are trying to sort out. It could impact teams and sports come late September. If no, not enough students come out or uh, get vaccinated, I mean, I, I would think, yeah, it's almost like not having enough players come out for a team. Exemptions may be granted for religious or medical reasons, but they're required to submit COVID tests twice weekly. People would have to get the first Pfizer shot by August 20th in order to meet the September 24th deadline. For now, everything is on hold. What we got from the superintendent was everything pretty much shuts down. Um, no practices, no, no conditioning, uh, nothing. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.